And in this video, we're going to make some really cool music using only arpeggiators. Uh, yeah, so let's get creative. Let's make it simple. Let's make it awesome. All right, let's get through this. Let's get some mate and let's get this thing done. Uh, for this experiment, we're going to use, you know, Logic and the arpeggiator from Octatrack. So I have it set up with the uh, Digitone. So we're going to use both machines. The arpeggiators from uh, Logic are going to be also like managing this lovely machine by Korg, the Mini Log XT. And this one is going to be generating like drum patterns and all this other stuff. So let's uh, see what we can come up with. It's getting a little bit harder with the time that I have to make some tunes. And I want to like simplify that. So I was thinking of a way today when I went for a little run. And, and what if I just like start putting our page eighters everywhere and see what random sounds come out and then, you know, get an idea down and then develop it into a track. So I have a kick here set up in the octave track. And I'm sure that you guys know how to do this already. So I'm going to go to G4. And then the note length is going to be infinity. And then over here, the arpeggiator, you know, we're just going to have one trigger happening. And that's going to give us the kick. So let's have a listen. So that's going to be the kick that we're going to be working with. You know, something short, which is good, right? Uh, I think that I'm going to use this instrument right here, the Retro synth, I think it's a good synth to work with. It has some really interesting sounds. So let's go. And I like, I love this one. It's called the uh, muted bass. And I think it works really well. I don't have a MIDI keyboard randomly here. Oh yeah. Okay, so I actually do have a MIDI controller here, which is pretty awesome <laughs> from the uh, mini log. So I guess you can use this as a MIDI controller as well. So I'm gonna use this MIDI controller just to like figure out a sound. So let's bring the octave up. Okay, I like that. One thing that I wanna do is bring in an arpeggiator. And something that I like doing is one, I like adding that every time a note hits, it's going to add another one and another one and another one. And the cool thing about doing it like that is, and it's gonna auto-generate sounds, which is pretty unique. So octave range, we're gonna go to two variation. It doesn't matter, we can figure that out later. Note length, I'm gonna bring it down to like about 30 and we're gonna randomize the, the note lengths. And then I'm gonna use crescendo. Go to 22. Let's see how this sounds. And also remember to like put on latch so like it continues to grow as the track develops. So let me bring in the MIDI. So I think that sounds good. Let's go over here and edit. If you use the brush tool, probably you guys know, and if you set here the scale you want to quantize to, every time you hit command and uh, the mouse, is gonna give you the notes that are available in that scale, which is pretty cool. So for this one, I do want to use, use it here and maybe that one there and see how that works out. So let's go over here, let's bring the ARP, let's right, latch and see how this sounds. I think it might be a little bit too quick. The other thing that I want to do is I want to give it two bars and maybe I'm going to separate this one to right over here. Uh, so let's bring in two machines over here. I muted them. So let's see how this sounds. So in order for this to work, let's, let's just do a, a loop for this. So you guys can see here in the arpeggiator how it's going to grow. I can actually like the random notes.
yeah so when you're messing around you know getting your sounds down you can mess around with the octaves and it sounds good now i think it's time to bring a hat i love hats as you guys know from my previous videos so the same idea here we're gonna go to infinity the velocity the velocity actually later on we're gonna use the lfo to modulate the note velocity is going to be modulating what's happening here as well so this is kind of like the sound that's going to come out just from like these two machines it's kind of like a fast shaker thing so you can see it's moving around with the velocity uh let's hear it with with logic So I have this other sound here. So we're gonna go over here. Same idea, right? I'm gonna change the length and all this other stuff. So here's where it gets fun, right? So you can like start messing around with the length of the uh, arpeggio uh, and, uh, and then just like click some triggers and then you can like move them around so like it sounds interesting. So let me bring this in. Yeah, there's that little like, it gives that like little, like makes you want to dance a little bit. So I like that. So then we have this like random sound that's going to be happening here. So the same idea. This one's actually going to be in random and we're going to go up three octaves, right? So it's gonna start like generating like some like really weird sounds. So right now we have like kind of like the groove of the track, just from <laughs> just from doing that. So it's kind of fun. Uh, so the other thing that I want to do here is actually I'm gonna bring in EXX24. I like this. Uh, so I love the factor presets of drums, the percussions, the single ones. So you have like different, like different sounds, claps, claps, and like all this other stuff. So like with claps, it, it sounds so realistic. So over here, again, you know, we're going to add an arpeggiator. And over here, we're going to actually like write in the grid what we want it to do. Variation two. I love messing around with the note length. And also here, we're going to use the velocity for it. Okay, so we have this little groove here. So now let's add some claps. Uh, so let me go again on here so we're gonna write this pattern so over here what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna create a midi and we're just gonna do a big note kind of like the same idea of what we did here with the the whole like uh, infinity note and then we're gonna loop it and see what happens so we have that there let's bring in and over here we're actually going to use kick two and let's see mono and then we're going to use another clap here from the percussions like this clap and over here we're actually gonna Okay, that sounds good. Let's bring the utility. We'll start messing around with this one right here. This one, I want to do kind of like the same idea of adding. I'm going to randomize it, variation, and then we're going to go to like different octaves. And again, it just gives it like more life, I think. So crescendo and pattern, we're going to add. So we're going to keep that latched. And over here, I'm going to create kind of like a progression. So let's hear it out. Okay. 
Okay, and I am going to bring in one last element. Uh, so I'm going to go over here again. You know, this thing is amazing. Give it a little bit more swing. I kind of like this idea. Yeah, so this gives me a really interesting idea on where I can take this track. So, all right, loop, and let's record all of this. Okay, so I think that this is like a good like start for a track. Uh, sometimes just like getting those ideas and those pieces together, once you're like clicking things and like moving and dragging loops and like all this other stuff, it's just like, it's not as simple, you know, um, because you don't never get like a unique sound or anything like that. So like with this, it's just something simple. You can use the arpeggiator built in into your DAW or if you have like the Octatrack or some other like um, a step sequencer that has an arpeggiator, you can do that as well. It's a valid way of doing it. Hopefully this was something that will inspire you to create more music in a simple way. Uh, it doesn't have to be that crazy. You know, you don't need all the machines that I have over here. Um, you can do it just in your DAW and uh, have some fun with it. I think it's a great way of, uh, of just writing some ideas down and then developing them into an actual track. All right, if you enjoy this, here are some tags so you can watch some more videos that I've created. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day.